Only a trained and licensed electrician should perform the wiring and connections described in this video. Do not attempt an installation without first reading the manual and disconnecting power. The power cell battery cabinet houses the actual battery modules. Battery power and capacity are proportional to the number of battery modules installed to the battery cabinet. So, more battery modules means more power and capacity. There are currently four battery configurations available. Power cell 17, 15, 12, and 9. The number corresponds to the amount of kilowatt hours each configuration stores and each configuration has its own amount of batteries, as shown here. In this video, we will be performing a PowerSol 17 installation. When installing the batteries, make sure always to install back to front and top to bottom, with the power and data ports facing to the right towards the wiring harness. Make sure the power port is below the data port. First, lift the first battery and place it on the top shelf of the battery cabinet, pushing it as far back as it can go. Regardless of the number of batteries being installed, always install the topmost rear module first. This is the sequence for all installations. Then, using the M4x8 screws, install four of the L-shaped grounding tabs to the battery cabinet near the corners of the battery, as shown here. Now, lift the next battery and also place it on the top shelf in front of the first battery. Near the top two corners of this battery, install two of the single retention clips, as shown here. This will secure the battery modules to the cabinet. Repeat these steps for the middle shelf, installing the battery in the back first, followed by the L-shaped grounding tabs near the corners of the module, and then install the front battery. But this time, instead of using the single retention clips to secure the modules, we will use the double retention clips as shown here. This will secure the front batteries above and below them. The bottom shelf follows the exact same steps as the middle shelf, with one key addition. Install the last two single retention clips near the bottom two corners of the bottommost front battery, as shown here. The power cell battery modules are now successfully installed into the battery cabinet. Double check that all screws are properly tightened and please refer to the manual for torque specifications.